We're getting ready for planting season. It's not quite warm enough yet, but it's getting there. So we went ahead and ordered our seeds from Baker's Creek and they came into the mail. So I figured I'd show everybody a little bit of what we got. All right, so we have Morgan's Lifter tomatoes. We got quite a few seeds. We actually increased our garden this year to about 2,700 square feet. So we got a lot to plant. We got Bonnie Best tomatoes. Um, there's our Amish paste. Now, all three of these tomatoes we have not tried yet. These are going to be new tomatoes for this year. So if you have tried them and you like them, comment down below telling us what you thought of them. This is going to be our first year on all three of these. So I'm hoping they go well. Um, then let's see here. We got some sweet bullnose peppers. And the canary bell peppers. I've not had these canary bells either. I, I like the bullnose, but I'm hoping that I'll enjoy the canaries as well. And we got lots of duplicate packets because, like I said, really big garden this year. We need to plant lots of stuff. This is going to be the year of our beets. This is our golden beet. I love the golden beets. They're one of my favorites. And then we have the Detroit Dark Reds. I love those too. Uh, pickled beets is my favorite way to do them. So, um, let's see. We have our crisscross watermelon. Really love watermelon. My husband loves watermelon. But have not tried the crisscross yet. It's a heritage, uh, heritage brand that we haven't tried yet. So I'm hoping we'll like them. Uh, hopefully better than black diamonds we got last year. And then our other watermelon is a golden honey. My husband loves the orange watermelons. Uh, we have had a bunch down in Oklahoma mm, about three, four years ago, and he really loved them. But I couldn't remember the brand, uh, what the name brand is. So we're going to try some golden, uh, golden honey. All right, and then we got some more of my golden beets there. All right, and then a big thing we're going to be trying to do this year is I'm going to try my hand at making homemade baked beans for, for our storage. So we got a couple different types of dry beans. This is one of them. It's the Papari Blue Speckled. All right, and of course these are not in any order. They're just kind of shoved in the bag. But then we have the Contender Green Bean. Love fresh green beans out of the garden. Okay, there's another beet. We'll just kind of grab a whole handful out here at a time. There's some more red beets. Same Detroit reds and my golden. And then we have a couple different types of pickles that we're going to try this year. Uh, one of them is the Chicago pickling. I love making pickles. We made a bunch of pickles two years ago, but we're running low, so we got to do some more this year. And then we got another type of pickle, um, I think it was called the double yield pickle. I have not tried it yet, but anything that produces extra uh, warrants a try in our garden. Let's see, And then we have our lima beans. My son loves his lima beans, so of course we had to get some lima beans. Had to. And, you know, always can use more dry beans. Good for food storage. Those were golden beets that I just put down there. That's our receipt. Okay, then we have uh, more dry beans. It's our Jacob's Cattle Bean. Again, not tried any of these dry beans before. If you've tried any of these and like any of the uh, seeds that I've tried or some of the produce that comes from them, comment down below because I would love to hear what you guys thought of it. Now, my daughter loves lettuce, so we got just regular iceberg lettuce, head lettuce. Because that's the one thing she really wanted in her garden. And there's some more contender beans and some more yellow beets. Uh, this one we have squash. This is our just our regular butternut uh, butternut squash. Love butternut squash. Stores really well. Um, I like baking it in the oven with a little bit of uh, brown brown sugar on them. It's really good that way. I also like making uh, using them in stir fries. Anyways. Um, we're going to try corn this year. We're in the middle of corn country here. Um, so we're going to try using some corn. Hopefully the raccoons won't get into them this year. I've heard that they've been really bad in the past. Going to try and see if we can keep the raccoons away from them. And there's some more of our lima beans. Got to have lots of stuff. More lima beans. More Detroit red beets. Uh, grab another handful. Like I said, we got lots and lots of stuff here. 
Okay, now when you order through Baker's Creek, depending on how large your order is, um, and of course we have pretty large order, they give you free seeds. The seeds, and they don't tell you what the seeds are gonna be, you wait, and it's kind of like a surprise. So this year um, was our first year ordering, and they sent us, uh, and I'm probably gonna botch this name, it's t Black Verna Versage Tomatoes. Never had them. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have room for this in our garden this year because we have a lot of stuff. Um, but we might try and plant some by the house. I might, you know, get a little bed filled up right next to the house and plant these. Alright, let's see. Then we're back to our contender beans. Ah, and this is the bean that I really, really wanted for our baked bean. It's the Aracara Yellow. The Aracara Yellow Bean. This should make really great baked beans. And I'm gonna try several different recipes. I have not made baked beans before. If you have a baked bean recipe that you really like, I would love to know it. Go ahead and comment down on below. And if I make the bean and I really like the baked beans, I will go ahead and give a shout out to you in one of my videos. All right, then we have several different kind of cantaloupes. Cantaloupes are my favorite. I cannot wait till the cantaloupes come in. So of course I had to get four different types to see which ones I like best. So we have this American melon, uh, the Sweet Passion Melon. Not tried it before. I'm hoping I'll like it. And then this one I've had before. This is the Amish Melon. I really enjoy this Amish Melon. It's a good melon. All right. Well, oh, <laughs> there's another one of our tomatoes, the Mortgage Lifter Tomato. That's one of those that I had not tried yet. And then there's the Double Yield Cucumbers that I had mentioned earlier for our second cucumbers that we're going to do. And... Almost all of these cucumbers that we're doing are going to go into pickles. We're going to eat some in salads and, you know, just for regular eating, but most of them are going to go in pickles. All right, there's a couple more of my yellow beets. Of course, you can tell I love my beets, so this is going to be the big year for the beets, I'm hoping. The rabbits don't get to them. Last year, the rabbits got to them. There's some more of our corn, and that is the Golden Bantam 12 row. So... I know I didn't mention that previously, and I apologize, but I did mention it this time. Then we have some Cherokee White Eagle corn. This is supposed to be really good cornmeal corn. So I'm hoping that that comes up and we can see how that does for cornmeal. All right, here we go some more. We have uh, Black UV Zucchini. I've had those in the past. I love the zucchini. Really good. Love them in zucchini bread. I love them in stir fries. Just good stuff. All right, and here's another one of the free seeds that we were sent since our order was so big. It is the uh, Cosmic Purple Carrot. I have not tried those. I got a package last year from the regular uh, hy V down the road. Did not try them. Didn't have enough room to try them. They're definitely going in this year because I want to see how I like those. All right, there's some more of our Cherokee White Eagle corn. And, ah. Then we have, a, we tried Alaska peas last year and they were really tasty, but they did not freeze very well. So I wanted to try a different type of pea, something that would freeze better because we like to freeze our, our peas. And um, So this is the uh, Kelvin Wonder. And I've heard that these are good for freezing. So I'm hoping that they're right and that they work well. And there's some more of our contender green beans. And then we have another type of green bean. It's McCalson 42 pole bean. I think we're going to take a cattle panel and put it in the ground and have these grow up the cattle panel. That way we don't have to stake each individual one. We can just have them grow up the cattle panel. And then this is the other. We had one more free one that they gave us. And this is cabbage. We didn't, we don't do a whole lot with cabbage. Um, I might plant this and try my hand at making sauerkraut this year because my husband really loves sauerkraut, but I'm not sure. All right, here's another one of our melons. I told you we got a bunch of melons. We got four of them. It's called Planter's Jumbo Melon. And let's see, there's some more of the pole beans. And there's our other iceberg lettuce. Of course, my daughter loves her lettuce again, and I love my salads. So we may, there's an awful lot of seeds in there, so I'm not sure if we'll use all of the seeds. And then we have our fourth type of melon is the American Melon Delicious 51. I know that's not a real fancy name, 
but I'm hoping that they come out really good. Let's see, I have a few more down here in the bottom, but it looks like they're all repeats. We have the pole bean and more of the Calvin Ke Wonder peas and of course more lima beans. Cannot have enough lima beans. You can use them for everything. Dry beans, stews, soups, side dishes, anything. Fantastic beans. So this is my spread that we got from Baker's Creek. Um, we're going to have more than just that. We plan on having sweet potatoes and potatoes and onions and garlic and all sorts of stuff. We have scorpion peppers growing over here in our little theater that we just started today. And my husband likes the scorpion peppers. And there's probably some other things we're going to throw in. We may throw in an eggplant or two. Um, I think we're planning on planting Brussels sprouts. There's just going to be so much that we're going to plant. And I will do more videos later on once I change my mind, which I always do. I always change my mind. And we finally get the garden in. Um, so that's it. Like, comment, share the page. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Have you tried any of this stuff? Do you have any great recipes? And uh, see you next time.